Hey guys, Pastor Chris here. Welcome to another Poolside Chat. Um, I'm making this, recording this, Tuesday, day early. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, Hurricane Idalia should be here. Even though I'm in Palm Harbor, North Pinellas County, we are under hurricane warning. Uh, we will get some wind, get a lot of rain. And it looks like the biggest concern, since this is a counterclockwise circulation, that's what all hurricanes, low pressure, um, since we are on the south side of this, the south winds are gonna push water up into Tampa Bay. So, storm surge is a big concern for our area, but well protected. And it reminded me of something. Remember, I'm, I'm addressing, I keep looking for dogs. Last week, I, well, excuse me, last few weeks I've been addressing some questions that have come out from Gen Z, and I've kind of brought those into a, uh, into a grouping. So this, this grouping, um, last week I had talked about Am I safe? And there's a lot of reasons that came out about this, but I want to expand on a little bit, especially with a storm coming. Um, I remember the last big storm we had in our area was Ian. Or maybe not the last one, but, uh, but there was a lot of question and upset and people put on kind of a strong face, you know, oh, I trust God, I'm doing good. And then I'll get a call. Pastor Chris, do you really think we're okay? And this goes to this issue of safety. So it's not just a Gen Z issue, it's all of us. I think Gen Z, you of this age, you have it particularly hard with uh, social media, with saying the wrong things, with doing the wrong things, with... It just seems like it's a lot very hard on you. But we've always had this issue of safety, and I mentioned this. And I thought today, there's a verse on 46.1. Um, Lord, you are my refuge and my help in a time of trouble. Safety and refuge and help at the time of trouble. How can we be so sure it'll be okay? Because God's on our side. Or more importantly, we're on God's side. And he cares for those he loves. He protects those who seek shelter. Does it mean that everything will be perfect? No, just the opposite. God also says we'll have more trouble than those without God. But we know we have God. And, uh, and with God, you got everything. So that's why I love this verse, because we realize the truth of it, that he is our safety and shelter in a time of trouble. So I just wanted to continue on from last week. It's my two-part answer. I didn't expect that, but then I didn't expect this storm a week ago. So it seemed very timely to talk about this. Um, I will continue on for the next couple of weeks talking about some questions that Gen Z in particular have had unless I get a particularly pressing question that needs some immediate answers. But, um, but I want you to know that. I want you to remember that. And no matter where you are, if you don't know that because you don't know God, ask me. Ask someone you trust. Let them show you what it takes to have that relationship. It's not hard, it's not magic, it actually seems almost too simple. But that's because God wants us. And all you have to do is just admit, I can't do this on my own. There's nothing I can do. I'm, you know, we, we call it sin, but it's an unworthiness. And it's just the way, what we're born with. We're born apart from God and you give your life. God, take control and help because I trust you. It's that simple. 
So guys, make sure. Because there is a lot of stress, fear, anxiety, and, uh, and it just makes life so much fuller, richer, safer with God. That's it. Uh, if you were in the storm's path, prepare, be safe. If you're not, pray for those of us who are. Check in on us. And remember, we'll be back Saturday. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Rumble at FL Compass Church. And uh, look forward to seeing you Saturday.